lot of times you got to get to a place to where you say, my God, I'm going to be disciplined. We're not living in a time where you can play around now. You got to get it when you can get it. Get it in your car. Get it in your kitchen while you cook. Get it in the shower. Oh, get it in, on your way to work. Get it when you're sitting out on the porch drinking lemonade. You got to look at somebody and say, you got to get it. What is this I'm talking about? You got to get in the presence. When Sister Gloria said this morning that the woman in the well thought that the only way that she can worship was in Jerusalem or in the mountain, Jesus said the time is coming and the time is not here where you will neither worship in the mountain nor worship in Jerusalem, but my true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. And if you think that you got to be in a certain place, in a certain time, having a certain notion to get into worship, you wrong. The Bible said prayer without ceasing. You can get in the presence at Walmart. You have to learn how to get it when you can get it. I, I was at the graduation getting it. Y'all didn't catch that. I was at a wedding ceremony, uh, doing, officiating a wedding yesterday getting it. I was at Walmart getting it. I was in the kitchen getting it. In the shower getting it. Wherever I was, I was getting it. I was getting in the presence. Saturate myself in the present. No longer, we don't, we don't live in a time where you can't climb the mountain. When God told Moses to go up to the mountain, he says, I'm going to reveal myself to my people. And the mountain, the fire of God came and lit the mountain, but nobody else could go up. Even if you got close to the mountain, you touched the mountain, you would die. The animals would die. The people couldn't even go up to the mountain. But now, we're not living in a time where you can't touch the mountain of God. We're not living in a time where you cannot experience God. We're not living in a time where you have to have a priest to go in for you. You don't have no bells tied on the bottom of your hymn. Isn't it ironic? I was having a conversation with my mother last night and I was telling her about the Lord was showing me something about the hymn of God's garment. You're not living in a time now where you can't go into the Holy of Holies. The wall of partition is down. The veil is torn. In the Old Testament, the high priest had to have bells tied on the hem of his garment. And the bells were made out of, out of figs. They would hollow the figs out and put little stones in them. And, and it was served as bells. And they were tied on the hem of the high priest's garment so that when he would go in and, 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 and stand before the altar, and he would go into the Holy of Holies. If he wasn't right, he would burn up and he would die. He would die. And it, going to the Holy of Holies, they would tie a rope around his waist just so that way nobody could go in and they'll die too so we could just pull them out. Do you think the woman with the issue of blood, listen, the woman with the issue of blood had an experience with the father, the same experience that Peter had when Jesus said, who did I say that I am? He said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. But when the woman with the issue of blood was standing and looking at the crowd, and she said, if only I could touch the hem of his garment, the hem with no bells on it. Flesh and blood didn't reveal that to her either. Why she didn't say, if only I could just touch his shirt. If only I could just grab his hand. If only I could just grab his foot. She said, if only I could just touch the hem. The place where they would tie the bells 
unto the high priest to go into the holy of holies. Look at somebody say, you can touch. Oh, Y'all didn't catch that. Yeah, say it again. You can touch to him. That there's the bells are tell them the bells are gone. Oh, gee, come out. The bells are gone. You can touch to him now. If you're in Christ Jesus, you can go in. You don't have to wait on nobody else. 